Google Voice number is so underrated. Can you believe that? I've been wasting a ton of money purchasing virtual numbers every single month in order to run my business. But when I discover about Google Voice, Google Voice have helped me reduce my expenses. I don't purchase virtual numbers anymore. I've been using my Google Voice number for about two years now and it's working perfectly fine. No issues. It's working very good. And I'm going to show you how to get one in this video and how to use it and some benefit of having a Google Voice number. So the question is, what is a Google Voice number? Why do you need it? What are the usefulness of it? Google Voice is basically a telecommunication service provided by Google, but it's limited to just one country, which is the United States. Yeah, only United States Google Voice is available, but there's always a way to overcome these country limitations. That's why I'm here to show you how to get one in this video and how to use it. Google Voice allows users like me and you make voice call, send text messages, and also manage voicemail through the web app or through the mobile app. I'll put it this way, Google Voice is just like your personal number, but it has more advantage. You can use a single Google Voice number on multiple devices, be it your smartphone, your tablets, your iPad, your laptop, any devices, you can use one number. You can manage it on multiple devices, so it's very useful and it's broad. You can also use a Google Voice number to sign up on platforms which is not available in your region. Yeah, you can use it to register on international websites. Google Voice has a lot of advantage. I'm going to show you how to use it and how to get it in this video. So let's proceed. In order to get a Google Voice number or set it up, you need a paid VPN. Wait, before you click off of this video, I know many of you won't want to spend a dime getting a VPN, but this is the truth. Without a paid VPN, you won't be able to get a good Google Voice number. Other YouTubers may tell you otherwise, telling you to use a free VPN. But something about free VPN is that they are not reliable. Free VPNs are very, very slow and annoying. And sometimes they malfunction in the sense that it can just turn off without you knowing. You will think that you are protected, not knowing that you are completely exposed. So just a slight malfunction can ruin the process in setting up your Google Voice account. So a paid VPN is compulsory and the paid VPN I always recommend you to use is Winscry VPN. This VPN is reliable. I will leave a link in the description of this video to subscribe to Winscry VPN. It costs 3,765 Naira a month. If you use my link to sign up, you're going to get free 10 gigabytes of credit on Winscry VPN. So link in the description. As you all know, or if you don't know, this is it. To get a Google Voice number for free, you need a US-based phone number to verify the Google Voice number. But as a non-US citizen, we can't get a US phone number. The only option we have left is to buy it from a website. After buying it, you log in your information the right way. Buying it is not a problem, but logging your details correctly is the main issue. That's why I'm going to show you step by step on how to log in your Google Voice account. To buy Google Voice number, go to this website. The website is called wpholesale.com. Basically, this website sells domain names, but you can also get Google Voice number from this website. On the top section, you're going to see Google Voice. It's the third option. Click on it. In this website, they sell Google Voice number in bulk, five upward. But there are other websites out there that sells Google Voice number in single quantity. But this is the one I've used and it's working perfectly fine. That's why I recommend it in this video. The Google Voice number I'm using right now, I've been using it for two years and it's working perfectly fine. So I got it from this website. That's why I'm recommending this website to you guys. I know most of you won't want to spend $25 purchasing a Google Voice number. You just need one. That's why I'm here in this video. If you want to get a Google Voice number, I say Google Voice number. You can chat me on Instagram telling me that you want to buy Google Voice number. Do not come to Instagram and tell me hello. Your first message should be, I want to buy Google Voice number. Nothing else. If you tell me hello, I won't reply you. Just be straight to the point. Tell me why you are messaging me. That is it. So five Google Voice number in this website cost $24.99. Y20 calls 79.99 and so on and so forth. Let's say I want to buy 700 Google Voice number. I click on order now. Here is the order summary. Just click on continue to proceed. Now click on checkout. This section, you're going to enter your personal and billing information. Your first name, last name, 
email address, phone number, and then select your country code and put your phone number. All countries is available. Yeah, if you have a company, you put that, but if you don't have it, you leave it. It's optional. So just leave that one. Input your home address, city, state, postal code, and others. Just finish setting everything. Then type your password and retype it again. After doing that, click on complete order. Just click on complete order. Remember, before you chat me on Instagram to get Google Voice, make sure that you have buy your VPN. You already have a VPN to log in your Google Voice number. So a VPN is compulsory. And before you log in your Google Voice details, make sure that you are connected to a VPN. This Winscribe Chrome extension. I already subscribed to Winscribe on my phone. You can subscribe to it on your laptop or your phone. So after subscribing to it on your phone, you can download the Chrome extension on your PC. You can log in your Google Voice details using your phone or laptop, but I recommend using laptop. Laptop is more easier and faster. So I'm going to be using my laptop on this tutorial. Go to your Chrome browser and search Winscry Chrome extension and install it. Just install the Chrome extension into your browser. After installing it, you pin it on your extension and log your details to Winscribe. Just input your username and your password. You're going to log in successful. When you purchase Google Voice number from this website, you're going to be given five vital information. The first one is an email address. The second one is a password. Third, recovery email why the fourth one is your Google Voice number. And the last one, which is the fifth one, is the eight digit code for verification. So these are the things you're going to be given when you buy Google Voice number from this website. After you're given this information, go to your Google account and sign in a new Gmail. Paste the Gmail address in the box, then click on next. Here it says verify it's you. To help keep your account safe, Google wants to make sure it's really you trying to sign in. First, verify you are not a robot. So just select the images with box and click on verify. So it's going to give you like three verification. Repeat the process again and click next. So this is it, I'm done. This section, it says type your password. Type the password given to you by the website and click on next. Two-step verification. A text message with a six-digit code was sent to your number. This number is our Google Voice number, but we don't have it now. So we don't have the number yet. So the next thing to do is to go down and select try another way. You're going to see try another way. Click on it. Enter one of the eight digit backup code. So just click on that one. Type your eight digit backup code and click on next. Verify your identity. We are told to input our phone number. So this is United States. Change this to your country code. If you leave any country, just input your country code and paste your phone number. All countries are listed here. If you're Nigerian, you paste your Nigerian phone number, choose your Nigerian country code. All countries are available. So after I verify it, you have successfully logged in your Gmail address of your Google Voice number. This is the most important part we just completed. To log in your Gmail address successful is very important. If you use your phone to log in the Gmail address, the process is still the same thing. Just turn on your VPN and connect to a server in the United States. Then go to Play Store and search Google Voice. Here's the application. I already have it on my phone. I just need to update it. So click on update. Or if you don't have it on your phone, you download it and install it easily. Now sign into your Google account as I showed you earlier using my laptop. Log into your Gmail, put the Gmail address and then put the password. Sign in easily. After signing in your Gmail address for your Google Voice account, go to your Google account. This is very important. It's very important. Change the recovery email and turn on two-step verification. This will help you prevent someone else from hacking to your account. So take this serious. To do this, just click on security. Below, you're going to see recovery email. Click on it. Follow the instructions given to you and change your recovery email. After changing your recovery email, head back to security. Now turn on two-step verification. Click on two-step verification. Click on get started and proceed and turn on two-step verification. So these are the two things you need to do immediately after logging in your Gmail address for your Google Voice account. Now, let me show you how to use Google Voice number. Go to Google and search voice.google.com. Then switch your Gmail address to the account of that Google Voice number. After doing that, you will have a dashboard like this. Here it says, hi, Jonathan D. 
the name of the Google Voice account, you're going to see it here. So you have one on red message. So I think that is a message from Google Voice. On the right hand side, you're going to see your keypad. You can type the number you want to call and call the person easily. While on the left hand side, you can see the phone call message tab and voicemail, archive and spam folder. On the top, that is your settings, help center, audio settings and receive calls. If I click on it, you can turn on do not disturb. So if I go to my settings right now, the first thing I will see is my Google Voice number. My devices, this account is signed into two devices. So my is two devices, my laptop and my Android phone. You can use your Google Voice number on your iPhone, iPad, any devices. You're going to see all the devices in this section and you can remove them or you delete them from this place. So this is it, web and Android. Let's scroll up. This side is linked number. You can link a new phone number to your Google Voice account, but we are not doing that. We don't have a US-based phone number to link a new phone number with it. Port your number to Google Voice. Just keep all those parts. So that's all in the settings. So you click on that side, you can expand it and see the full name. It's phone, messages, voice, mail, archive and spam. So that is it for Google Voice. Now, let me show you how to create a WhatsApp account with your Google Voice number. Remember, you can use a Google Voice number to create a WhatsApp account, Telegram account, TikTok account, different things with a Google Voice number. It's a US-based phone number. So any future available in the United States, you can use this Google Voice number to register in the application or website. So this is it. I just log in my Google Voice details into my phone. So I'm going to click at the three horizontal line at the top left corner. So go to settings, scroll up this section that says incoming calls notification, click on it. So make sure that they are all activated. Let's head back. Still scroll up incoming calls options, activate it. Make sure it's activated. So we are done setting up everything. So what you have to do is to copy your Google voice number. Before we move further, I just want to make this clear. You only need a VPN to log in your details your Gmail address and your password successfully. After you have signed in successfully, you don't need a VPN to use the Google Voice account. You can use the Google Voice account without a VPN. If I call someone, I don't need to use a VPN to call the person. If I want to send message, I don't need a VPN to send message. You can use it without a VPN. You only need a VPN to log in your details, which is your Gmail address and your password. So that is the purpose of VPN. So you don't need to get VPN anytime you want to use Google Voice. You get me. So make sure you turn on do not disturb in your Google Voice account. Delete your old WhatsApp application. Turn on a VPN connected to the United States. Go to your Play Store and search for WhatsApp. Download the WhatsApp with the VPN. After I download it, click on open. Welcome to WhatsApp. English. Click on next. Welcome to WhatsApp. I agree to the terms. Just continue. So input your country code, which is plus one and paste your number and click on next. So is this your correct number? Yes, it's my correct number. Click on next. A code is going to be sent immediately. Copy the code, paste the code and click on next. So it's verifying. Verification complete. Contact and media. Not now. Just continue. Restore backup. Cancel. Don't restore any backup. Create a passcode. You can skip that. Do that later. So this, this is our US WhatsApp account. So this is the update section. You can see channels and many more. So there's a new feature in the United States WhatsApp. It's called AI chat. Just accept it. So this is it. Meta AI. You can use this AI to get information, get ideas. So they are giving us word to search for imagine a car race on max and you can also go to your settings switch accounts you can add multiple accounts with this was my name is meta ai think of me like an assistant who is here to help you learn plan and connect what can i help you with today so let's play with the meta ai click on it imagine a car on a max let's see what it gave us so this is it it's loading is beautiful so let me say create a logo for cash app wow this is beautiful <laughs> create a logo for just exploring wow this is beautiful so this is it you can use this ai to create a lot of images and this is not something that you're going to be giving 20 credits or 150 credits every month this is unlimited so guys if you enjoyed this video do it to smash the like button and also check out this video next that video will share with you how to get a cash app account I will see you in that video. Peace out.